Number 20. New in scikit-learn.22, plot a confusion matrix in one line of code. It's highly customizable. So here is our example. What is a confusion matrix? It is a tool for evaluating the performance of a classification model. So let's walk through the code. We're going to do a train test split, create an instance of logistic regression model, and fit our model to the training data. Now you are ready to plot already. You use plot confusion matrix, which I imported up here. You pass it a fitted model, X test and Y test. And then I also throw in some options that I'll mention in a moment. But let's talk about what the plot confusion matrix function does. You're passing it your fitted model. When you pass it X test, it's going to run clf.predict on X test, and then it's going to compare those predictions to Y test, and that comparison is the basis of the confusion matrix. You'll notice that nowhere in our code did we write clf.predict X test because plot confusion matrix took care of that for us. Um, in terms of the optional arguments, I passed in a matplotlib color map because I thought the default color map was ugly. And then I changed the values format. The values format is what's called a format specification string, which are super confusing in my opinion, but really useful. And by default, it was using scientific notation after just two digits, which was annoying for this 122. So I changed it to three digits, though in retrospect, I should have just used D here, which would have accomplished that in a more elegant way. And actually, D will be the default in the next version of scikit-learn.23. There are other ways you can modify the look of this confusion matrix, but those are the ones I just thought of immediately. A couple other things, if you store the return value of plot confusion matrix, you can access this attribute, which is the normal confusion matrix. And when you see that, you're reminded of how plain it looks and of how annoying it was to remember what each of these numbers represented. Wait, what is that 48 again? Whereas up here you can see, oh, these are predicted labels 0 and 1. Here are true labels 0 and 1. Final note, you can actually pass a fitted pipeline, not just a fitted model, but a fitted pipeline that ends in a classification model to plot confusion matrix, and that will work as well.